So it's lovely to be here. One bit of news that I'd like to share with you is that uh, in May of last year, I went down to Federal Plaza in New York City, which is where I'm based, raised my right hand, and took the oath of allegiance to the US Constitution. became an American citizen because I really like the way that America is going right now. <laughs> and I just wanted to jump on that ship. <laughs> but I want to say thank you to the American people who have given me such a warm welcome over the last 12 years that I've been here on a green card. I want to say thank you to Art for hosting us tonight. And thank you to you all for being here and turning down the many competing invitations for your time this evening to come out and support live music. Thank you so much. So I'm happy to be here. Happy to be here in America. Happy to be here in North Reading. <laughs> happy to be here at Flint Memorial Library, which seems like a good place to be. This is called Happy to Be Here. Happy to be here. And I hope you're happy to be here too. Happy to be here. Maybe short or long, kind of sweet or bitter wine. I don't care no more. Cause I'm happy to be here. People come and go like the changing weather. And even though I know the dark and lasts forever, I don't care no more. I'm so happy to be here. And what's the reason for the wonder? I'm so glad to be alive I saw no lightning and no thunder I only looked into your eyes, oh my darling So let the rain come down Let the sun shine on us the happiness we found is never taken from us. We'll go on and on. Being happy to be here. It may be right or wrong. It may come rain or shine. Maybe short or long, I sweep up in the world. I don't care no more. Cause I'm happy to be here. I don't care no more. I'm so happy to be here. Happy to be here with you. So happy to be here with you. Yeah. <laughs>
like to establish, uh, before we go any further, if the, the sound level is okay with you all. Is it alright? Nobody struggling to hear or having, having to put earplugs in, anything like that? Because this is definitely a heavy metal gig. Right? <laughs> um, well, we'll carry on as we are. So this is a song about life on the road. Um, I'd like to dedicate this to my good friend Buffy, who is here this evening, uh, another road warrior. Um, I do about 150, 125, 150 gigs a year in North America, uh, that doesn't include Europe and Canada, but I uh, do about 40,000 miles a year in my car. And uh, to be a musician today, if you want to make a living, you've got to get on the road. You can't play to the same audience every night, and uh, equally you can't rely on your record sales anymore because they don't exist. <laughs> so, uh, you can put out the most beautiful record in the world, and sooner or later someone is going to download it, and you won't see any more money from your beautiful record. So, whoever you are, you've got to get on the road and earn your living, and that's okay by me, because I like being on the road, generally speaking. It's a very, very tiring life, it's a very challenging life, but it's a very rewarding life in ways that you can't really put on paper. And one of the biggest rewards of being on the road for me is that I meet all kinds of people who I would probably not meet under normal circumstances except through music. And uh, these people could be very different on the surface. On the surface, they are of a different social and political background. They're often of a very different political viewpoint. They might have a different ethnicity, uh, just a different ideology and take on the world very little in common with me on the surface, but as soon as we play music together, we forget those differences and we're just people playing music. And music is the best means of achieving that that I can think of right now. And so we need music, I think you'll agree. We need music now more than ever. So here's to music for bringing us together. And this is a song about uh, life on the road. It can be difficult to sustain long-term relationships when uh, you're essentially wedded to your car, but luckily my car is very attractive, so uh, we have a beautiful relationship. Can we get a spotlight on the back door there, Art? Because we have a late cover, we want to make it feel very... <laughs> it's all downhill from now, you missed the best bit. And this is a song called Prisoner of the Open Road. Prisoner of the Open Road. Touch the misty mountains, wider than the halo of a winter moon. We have heard the desert wanderers calling to their caravans from June to June. We have seen the eagles gliding, learned the secrets hiding in the sand and snow. And you know the path I'm riding, I was born to be the prisoner of the open road. We have slept beneath the starlight, while the restless ocean whispered broken lullabies. I've woken to your heartbeat, and a love as warm as morning, glowing in you. And up thy tumble, climb the walls that crumble where the kings once strode. And you held me where I stumbled, blinded by the winding of the open road. I 
pray that you'll forgive me, but I'm born to be the prisoner of the open room. And I will dream that you're beside me, waiting there to guide me where the fire once glowed. And I'm bound to keep on riding, I will always be the prisoner of the open room. And you know the path I ride in, you and I are prisoners of the open songs this evening, um, original songs, I don't know how original they are, but they are at least my own, my own song. Um, so if you want to shout out the name of a songwriter other than myself, whose work you'd enjoy hearing in preference to my own, uh, please go ahead, and um, the door is just over there. Uh, lady came up to me the other night at the end of a, a gig. I think, I think she wanted to pay me a compliment, I think. She said, you know, listening to you play, I just want to run out and buy every single one of Gordon Lightfoot's CDs. <laughs> <laughs> so you won't be hearing any Gordon Lightfoot this evening. This is one of my oldest songs, and uh, this is actually about 25 years old, this song. And uh, this has been recorded by several other artists. Uh, in fact, I've had quite a few of my songs recorded by other people. 30 songs of mine have been recorded by other artists in the last three years. That's uh, which has been very, very good for me. Uh, one lady in Nashville recorded a whole album of my songs, and another lady in Los Angeles did the same. So it's very affirming for me when that happens that they should go to all that trouble and expense to record something that I wrote. It makes me feel that I got something right for once. It doesn't happen very often. Um, but the highest compliment that I received in relation to this particular song, which is one of my oldest songs, uh, was given to me by someone who's not a musician at all. Uh, actually, it was my sister. Um, five years ago, we had some very sad news in our family. Her husband, my brother-in-law, lovely young man in his early 40s, uh, he died. And um, my sister asked me to sing at the funeral, which took place in the UK. And I was very honoured to do that. She wanted to hear this song. She asked to hear this song. And if you think about it, that's a pretty high compliment. Um, meant a lot to me, still does. I don't think I'll receive a higher compliment than that. She didn't have to have any music at all, let alone something that I had written on that day of all days, but she wanted to hear this. So it meant a lot to me. And as I was singing it at the funeral, even though this is one of my oldest songs, it, I realised that not until that day had I really understood what the song meant. I suddenly understood it for the first time. And I think the songwriting is a bit like that. I know there's at least one other good songwriter in the room uh, tonight. In fact, in fact, there's three very good songwriters here in the room tonight that I know of. So you may agree with me when I say that uh, you don't always know the full meaning of what you yourself have created. You look back at it years later and you go, wow, that really makes sense, but I didn't know it at the time, I swear. <laughs> and that's very affirming because it makes you feel that you were in touch with something that is truthful. It doesn't happen to me very often. You know, this is one of those songs, it's actually a very positive song. And if anybody here has lost someone dear to them, this is for you, but it's for all of us. Anybody who's had too much rain in their life, whether literal or spiritual rain. This is for you, and this is called After the Rains. After the Rain. The eagle shakes her feathers dry. After the rains are gone, makes his home the wide blue sky. After the rains are gone, and colors waiting to amaze are open to the gentle rays of the day to come. After the rain. Are and we will see with clear 
clear sights after the rains are gone. And when the rain dries on our cheeks to leave us on a mountain peak, then we will hear our vision speak. After the rains are gone, far from the thunder's reach, we'll hear a different song. Love calling each to each, and through the mist of joy and pain, the morning bird will sing again. Though the night was long And if no trace of us remains To say we walked in love's domain His will be our song After the rains are gone The eagle shakes his feathers dry after the rains are gone, and makes his home a clear blue sky. After the rains are gone, after the rains are So we're going to get off the subject of rain very soon, but in the meantime, I want to sing you one of my older songs. I was born in London, England, where as we all know, it rains most of the time. I got sick of the rain in London, decided that I had to come to the land of opportunity, which is America. And of all the cities that I could have picked as my point of entry into this great and noble land, I want you to guess where I landed. Right first time. 10,000 miles to find exactly the same lousy weather that I left behind. The reason I'm telling you this is that a lot of my songs are about rain. This is another one. Now this one features a really excellent whistling solo, so watch out for that. This is called Come In Out of the Rain. Come on and hold together Stop making heavy weather There's really no need for my pain Come in, come out of the rain Come on and ride the static Get up, get automatic There's really no need to complain Come in, come out of the rain Come in, come out of the rain Whatever the reason for that weather Whenever you're feeling blue Whenever you want to be on the runner Whatever I can, I will do So look up, I'm all around you And I'm so glad I found you there's really no need to explain. Come in, come out of the rain. All right. Whatever the reason for that weather, whenever you're feeling blue, whenever you want to be your brother, whatever that can I can do, so come on and pull together, shape up yours forever. You're really driving me insane.
So my name, in case you didn't get it, for those of you who've just joined us, Rupert. It's one of those names that says, I'm not from around here. <laughs> but that's okay, it kind of helps me to stick out from the crowd. Second name is Waits. So Rupert Waits. But what does Rupert wait for? Well, like all of us, he waits for happiness. He waits for success. And now that I've played Art Grossman's Songwriter Series Night, I'm still waiting for success. <laughs> this is a song called Waiting to Begin. When I was a little boy, the world was like a Christmas toy. Life again that I was sure to win, and I'm still waiting to begin. Work hard and get ahead. In time all things will come, they said. <laughs> that was only so much spin. But I'm still waiting to begin. Waiting to begin. Waiting to begin. Waiting to begin. I'm still waiting to begin. I never crossed the starting line. The race has left me far behind I'm no longer in my prime <laughs> Still the siren voices sing They're gone from the promised land Stolen from me by some sleight of hand It's the shadow of the one that I planned Until I find the real thing I'm waiting to begin Still waiting to begin Waiting to begin I'm still waiting to begin Days come and go But all I really know Is that I'm slowly getting older No more time to waste If I'm to join the race It's already halfway over Let me do all that I intend I'm gonna give all that I have to spend the road is rushing towards the end I'm waiting to begin Waiting to begin Still waiting to begin Waiting to begin I'm still waiting to begin anybody's anniversary today? Well, that would be too good to be true, wouldn't it? It's anybody's anniversary this weekend. You don't have to be shy. It's not, this isn't audience participation time. But uh, What about this month, guys? What about this year? <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, now you, I was introduced to your beautiful wife just now, but can you remind me of your lovely wife's name? Jeanette. Jeanette. So it's Art and Jeanette. All right, well, this is for Art and Jeanette. And nobody else has an anniversary this year. <laughs> what I tried to do in this song was to write a, song, a ballad in the style of a man you may have heard of, uh, William Shakespeare. It's always best to aim high when you're writing, I think. Writing song. So I use a lot of old English words in this song, words which you may not hear very often in downtown North Reading. Um, have you heard Hey Nonny Nonny lately in the gas station? Um, so this is a song about a betrothal, what we in England call a betrothal, excuse me, or an engagement. It's that day that the two of you got spliced. Well, how long ago was it, Art? 1984. 1984, so we're talking, that's... What? 40? No. 35, 35 years, man. So you must get on pretty well. Oh, great. Right. <laughs> so is, is, is Art away a lot? Is that the key to the... <laughs> You are right. Okay, Art and Jeanette. This is that day, 35 years ago, when you got spliced. And when Art went down on his knee, you know, all that kind of stuff. But did you that? Couldn't get up. And you had to help him up. So this is called The Green and Goodly Valley. The Green and Goodly Valley.
High on a hill by a deep green valley under the linden tree. I asked my true lover there to dally and she did agree to sit a while with me. Then beside that goodly valley I humbly bent my knee and asked my true lover would she marry me so did I make my plea. So did I make my plea. More said I than this green valley I will give to thee. All the riches you can carry shall my portion be. As the sun set over the valley and the shades did flee, I asked my true lover not to tarry. What would her answer be? What would her answer be? Promise me not all I can carry, then set my love to me. For all the riches you can rally, I cannot, said she. Pledge me not this deep green valley, nor all the eye can see. Swear not we'll live ever after happily, pledge just to set me free. Then shall I marry thee. the deep green valley and she walks with me. I know a joy no man can tally and she has set me free. And she has set me free. High on a hill by a deep green valley under the linden tree. Art said to Jeanette, will you marry me? And she did agree to sit a while with me. <laughs> so this is another little love song which I may uh, attempt your indulgence with this evening. Um, I'd like to mention, by the way, what my CDs are for sale. They're $15 each or $20 for two over there. This song comes from an album called, an album, that dates me, doesn't it? An album called Colorado Mornings. Colorado Mornings, which is nothing but love songs with the Colorado theme. One of my favourite uh, films is Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Boots casting in the Sundance Kid. I decided that I would write a little love song <clears throat> based on the story of the love affair between the Sundance Kid and Etta Place, if you remember her from the film. So this is a little Old West romance which I based loosely on the story of the love affair between the Sundance Kid and Etta Place. So this is called Sundance and Etta, or True Love Never, True Love Never Dies. Sundance and Etta, True Love Never Dies. Gunslinger long past his prime. His temper was fierce, it turned on a dime. But he could shoot as the eagle can fly, and she fell in love with his pale blue eyes. Some called her a lady, some called her a tramp. She left a good home to follow the camp. The life of an outlaw was all that she knew when she fell in love with those pale eyes of blue. In a room at the back of the last church saloon, with a rag soaked in whiskey, she dresses his wounds. Tenderly cleaning his blood from her hands, she tells him she'd do it for no other man. Each day the lawmen were typing their net, chasing his shadow and dogging his steps. Gunned down in a shootout or molding in jail, he knew what was coming. At the end of the trail 
she wakes in the dark, hearing a sound at the door. It's found them at last, death at the hands of the law. But it's only a dream, only a trick of the night. They'll soon spread their wings, unlike two condors in flight. Be gone in the morning light. They took a train, da 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 train. South of the border, they carry their flame. Far from the lawn, and they'll make a new life. Far from the lawman, he made her his wife. He robs the payroll and sometimes the banks. She holds their horses and covers their flanks. In old San Vicente they made their last stand. They found them lying there still holding on. Some say they saw them in Paris. Last fall, and in Monte Carlo, they were dressed for the ball. He shooting straight as the eagle can fly. She stood in love with eyes blue as the sky. Some dance and Edda, Art and Ginette, <laughs> true love. May you never die. So we're going to do one more song this half of the show. Is that a good idea? And then. Um, we're going to get to the goodies, which is the real reason you're here, I know. I know. But uh, this is a song based on a true story. Uh, it took place back in 1932, during the days of the Dust Bowl Depression. And uh, in certain parts of the Far West and, and the Midwest, uh, there were dust clouds, tornadoes, hurricanes, on a daily basis, spotting out the sun and the sky for hours and even days at a time. People thought the world was ending and they saw a 10 mile high dust cloud coming towards them, coming bearing right down on their house. They thought it was all over, uh, but they survived, they got through it. Even though it was also the height of the great financial depression, the mother of all depressions, as it's sometimes called, which began in 1929, October 29, with the crash on Wall Street. By 1932, the whole world was in, in uh, recession, and in certain parts of uh, the Wild West, they had nothing to eat at all but thistles and tumbleweed. Tough, tough time to be alive. And in the rural areas of America, what tended to happen was when the farms were repossessed again and again by the banking companies who'd financed them, <clears throat> the men who worked on those farms just lost all sense of who they were because they'd been farmers all their lives. They probably grew up on a farm. The farm had been in the family for generations. And when it was taken from them, they just didn't know what to do with themselves anymore. So they tended to fold and give up, but the women stepped up to the breach, the women carried on doing what they'd always done, which is to put food on the table, backbone in the family life, clean the house obsessively, which is very important because you had to keep the dust out of the lungs of the little children, otherwise they could die. And above all, they would put hope and faith in the hearts of the people they love. And they really got us through it. I think the women of that period, the mothers and the sisters and the daughters and the wives, carried us through one of the worst periods in American history. And we need them now more than ever, let's face it, the women of America. So it's your time to step up to the breach once more. So this is based on a true story. It concerns a poor family who made their way across America on foot during the days of the Dust Bowl. <clears throat> this is really a hymn of thanks to the women of that period. <coughs> this is called, my song based on that true story. Um, this is called Days of Mercy, Days of Mercy.
daddy lost his job one day when he wouldn't take a cut in pay. He couldn't find another place, even one that paid him less. So he settled into his easy chair with his dog-eared magazines until the bank took back our house. And my mama only screamed when she was a little girl. She had a dream, she found a pearl hidden in the pocket of her pants. But the pants were full of holes. When she walked, the pearl was gone. And she was only six years old. Hold on tight, my mama said. And keep your eyes upon the sun. Faith in the road ahead, the days of mercy will surely come. But when the world is blown apart, in the eye of a hurricane, let strength and courage fill your hearts. Days of mercy will come again. So we sold up all we owned, we headed east in the touring car. We found a place with a plot of land, down in windy Arkansas. My daddy worked on a lady's farm, but my mother heard it said. He didn't work that lady's fields, as much as he worked her bed. So she packed a cardboard case, with a single change of clothes. I took the baby on her hip, I told us all to follow close. We began the long walk home. To the California coast, hold on tight, my mama said. Keep your eyes upon the sun. Faith in the river ahead, the days of mercy will surely come. When the world is blown apart, in the eye of a hurricane, let strength and courage fill your heart. Days of mercy will come again. Mama led me to a stream, dipped a cloth to bathe my head. We walked all through New Mexico, and in the migrant workers' camp, I learned all there was to know about the kindness of the poor. For the children dressed in rags, they gave us everything they had, bags of sweets and ready smiles, fresh tortilla around the fire. In the huts of a rusty iron, when the baby started crying, hold on tight, my mama said, keep your eyes up on the sun, put your faith in the road ahead, days of mercy will surely come. When the world is blown apart, in the eye of a hurricane, let strength and courage fill your hearts, days of mercy will come again. So we finally reached L.A., beside a lake in Lincoln Park. A man was standing all alone, throwing crumbs to feed the ducks. When are you going to take those children home? Asked the man, and my mother said, we just to walk 2,000 miles. We'll make it yet with a little luck. And then the man just looked away. He said he guessed his turn had come. He pulled out two dollar bills, enough to see us right for a can of pork and beans. And so I'm shelter for the night. So hold on tight, my mother said. Keep your eyes upon the sun. Faith in the road ahead, the days of mercy will surely come. But when the world is blown apart, in the eye of a hurricane, let strength and courage fill your hearts. Days of mercy will come again. Keep your eyes upon the sun, put your faith in the road ahead, days of mercy will surely come. When the world is blown apart, in the eye of a hurricane, let strength and courage fill your hearts, days of mercy will come again. A whole time my mama said, keep your eyes upon the sun, put your faith in the road ahead, days of mercy will surely come. When the world is blown apart, in the eye of a hurricane, let strength and courage fill your hearts, days of mercy will come again. Well, once again, I want to say thank you to our, our lovely host, Art and Jeanette, and also uh, the lovely ladies who are manning the tables at the back of the room <laughs> and somehow restraining themselves from eating all the food that's. <laughs> Um, thanks again for being here, everybody, and I hope you will come back. Uh, I know that Rod Abernathy is a very good performer, so um, 
Is it Roger or is it Roger? His first name is Roger. Roger. Yeah. Um, I think he's very good. I've come across him several times on the circuit. So do come out and support live music. So we'll do some love songs. <coughs> I hope that's okay with you. Anybody here doesn't like love songs? Just let us know what a sad person you are. It's fine. Um, so here's a new song. Well, it's relatively new. About a year old. I uh, wrote this uh, last year. This is called I'm Amazed. I'm Amazed. <laughs> place to be. I firmly believe that um, the New York City skyline, particularly at night, is one of the wonders of the world. I think that it's equal to the Cheops uh, pyramids and the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. It's an expensive place to live, though I will say that. And um, I purchased a little house in Colorado, a little miner's cabin, some years ago. And it's in the middle of nowhere in the mountains of Colorado. And one of the things that I like about my little cabin in Colorado is that everything that New York City is, it isn't. You can park your car, amazing. You can walk from your, park, uh, from your car to your house, 
you can own your house. <laughs> your neighbours know your name. And it's a very good place for me to do some songwriting, so... So I was sitting in my cabin the other day, writing a song, and I noticed that a little bird had made its nest in the awning of my house. A tiny little bird, about as big as my, as my thumb, and it was singing away so beautifully to itself. I thought, wouldn't it be great if I could sing like that? So I sang to this little bird, and it flew away. <laughs> but it came back the next day, and it was joined by another bird, and then they had a baby bird, so there were three birds singing to each other in the awning of my house all day long. And I thought, well, maybe they've decided that I'm not past re redemption, and there's you know, some hope for me. There's a songwriter, songbird. They were giving me their blessing. Same time, a friend of mine was writing, was running a summer camp for, in the mountains, a summer camp right nearby where I live. And this summer camp was for young girls who had been the victims of bullying. And if you have children, you'll know that I, what I mean when I say it, bullying is a very serious problem in the world. Much worse than it was when I was a kid because of online media. And if a young girl today doesn't get a certain number of likes on her Facebook posting, then she feels that she's inadequate, she's got to change, she's got to lose weight, she's got to gain weight, she's got to eat something different, she's got to like different music, she's got to love somebody different, she's got to change the colour of her hair, she's got to change who she is, she's got to become more like her peers. And it struck me that my friend was trying to teach these young girls how to be themselves, how to love themselves, or if you like, how to sing their own song. And I do believe that we are all born to sing a certain song, whether it's a literal song or an imaginary metaphorical song, we have to find that song that we were born to sing and sing it to the world. So this is for all of us. And this is called A Song of Your Own. A Song of Your Own. As small as my thumb Has made a nest in my honour And sings to the rising sun Each note of a wandering song Is as fresh as the dew Like a gift that she makes to the morning Always surprising and new She's no need of praise or gratitude She's happy to sing alone She's free of all her attitudes And she's singing a song of her own I have heard the sound of the rain Of the wind in the trees and I sleep to the music the river makes as it flows to the sea. To the moon and the stars have a voice, if we only could hear. I would love to borrow their splendor and shine as loud and as clear. But they don't need my praise or my gratitude. To light me the long way home They're free of all learned attitudes And they're singing a song of their own Too many people will always be ready to make you March to their tune You're willing to follow a rhythm wherever it takes you but they won't get it wrong. They'll try to tell you who you are. They'll try to tell you who to be. But I'm gonna sing to my guitar. We'll find a way to be free. Girl child with a head full of dreams And your spiral like bones If I give you the gift of my song 
Will you swear that you'll make it your own? And grow like a flower in bloom. You will dance and you'll laugh. Though the world may trample on beauty, you'll take a different path. But you won't need my praise or my gratitude. You'll be happy to sing alone. You won't need my learned attitudes. You'll be singing a song. All of your own, a song of your So this friend of mine was uh, getting very discouraged because it seemed that nobody was really paying much attention to what she was doing. And I said, isn't that rather like worrying about the number of uh, likes you get on your Facebook page? What matters surely is the passion that you bring to what you do. Because you could be most, the most successful person in the world, in the world's eyes, if you don't have real passion for what you're doing with your life, there's going to be a very big hole that nothing, nobody else can fill. So I invented a story about a young girl who lived on a desert island where no one ever came to visit her, but she decided that she was going to make her desert island a beautiful place, because that's what she wanted to do. So this is called a Ballad of a Brown-Eyed Girl. Lived three days all alone on an island Where the wind and the rain make a pitiful sound And the sun and the sea endlessly pound The rocks on the shore and the white sand well, On the first day she wrote with a stick in the sand Words of welcome to all passing sailors But as evening fell On the very same day The tide coming in Washed her words away While the light of the moon Grew paler On the second day She stood at her window And sang A beautiful song To the morning but no one was there on her islands to hear And the beautiful song that she sang disappeared In the sound of the rain that kept falling Though On the third day she woke and she planted the seed Of a rose that would bloom in her garden but the sun beats down and it withered the rose For she chose a little place where no river flows In a land that never gives pardon And though none ever read what she wrote in the sand Or heard what she sang from her window Though the rose that she planted died in her hand For three days the cruel world was a lovelier land For the brown-eyed girl had made it so And she was a young girl with eyes of brown Lived three days all alone on an island Where the wind and the rain make a pitiful Sound. And the sun and the sea endlessly pound The rocks and the shore and the white sand
dying to know what this other guitar sounds like. So, this is my uh, baritone guitar. Well, it's not actually a baritone guitar, it's just I tuned it very low. <clears throat> I've been using this guitar on uh, my latest CD, which some of you have had the good taste to purchase. Um, so, um, this is a tuning that I borrowed from a man named Nick Drake. Anybody here heard of Nick Drake? Yeah. Well, he was performing in the early 1970s and unfortunately left us at a very young age. Um, but he bequeathed to us all a wonderful musical legacy. And so this is a kind of a tribute, if you like, to Nick Drake, who's one of my influences. Uh, I wrote the song, but it's very much in the style of Nick Drake. So I was sitting in my apartment in New York City, watching the rain come down and shivering, and dreaming of summer, because one thing that we can always count on is that the summer will come again, no matter how miserable the winter may seem. The summer will never let us down. So here's to the summer and all that it brings. This is called When Summer Comes Again. There's a winter in the blue skies Your head is reeling, they fly so high They chase the shadows from your eyes When the summer comes again Our feet will fall on the warm dry sand Along the shore Hand in hand, the grass is torn in the green, green land. And the summer comes again. Winter winds blow away, spring and fall have their say. But you and I make such a love. Sun will shine through the open door. Summer wine will fill the store. This is the time we've been living for. Summer comes again. France and uh, I worked there as a journalist, so it gives me a, a journalist's kind of eye. But also here in America, of course, I'm outside events to a certain degree as a non-American born citizen. So this is a story that took place back in the late 1940s 
In those days, there was a goods train that used to run from the Pacific to uh, Milwaukee. They called it the Old Milwaukee. When I heard that name, I just knew I had to write a song. <laughs> and there was a lady who lived in one of the lonelier Midwestern states. I think it might have been Nebraska. And she would lie awake at night listening to the sound of the train as it passed. And she began to develop a romantic life in her head, featuring herself and members of the team who worked on the train, the fireman and the conductor and the driver. She was obviously a lonely lady. And this story is about her. So this is a kind of a train song. And as Paul Simon has said, we all love the sound of a train in the distance. This is called Miss Burgoyne and the Old Milwaukee. Now the time lies heavy on my hands I often walk beside the place Where the old Milwaukee Railroad used to pass The tracks all torn up long ago A few planks are left from the old depot Scattered among the weeds and the prairie grass And in my mind a figure still sits On a platform in gathering dusk In the clothes they made before the First World War Waiting alone for the train to arrive in a fury of steam and whistle blows The conductor holding open the carriage door The conductor holding open the carriage door Her name was Edith, behind her back, to her face she was Miss Burgoyne. And she lived with her parents in a modest bungalow. Teaching piano to the neighborhood kids, 50 cents an hour to listen and smile as we stumbled through our scales and arpeggios. And whether it was her air of reserve, or her spinster's clothes, or her foreign name, or her college degree class of 1928, but whenever we ran out of games to play, we could always laugh at Miss Burgoyne and some of her stranger personality traits. Some of her stranger personality traits. It was in the summer of 35, as I recall, when the change began, and Edith first boarded the Milwaukee train. A ten minute ride to the next stop of the line, and there she'd descend and come a rain or shine. She'd walk five miles home again. Three times a week, each week for a year, she rode the train alone, but why? None of us could ever understand what I heard it said. By others who were there, the conductor was a handsome man, a brown eyed and very handsome man. So the years flew by and Edith's parents died and she sold up and moved away To Iowa the rumor went with a married man But others said she died alone in bitterness and poverty On a barren farm with intractable land But in my mind a figure still sits on a platform in gathering dusk In the clothes they made before the First World War Waiting alone for the train to arrive in a fury of steam and whistle blows And the conductor holding open the carriage door The conductor holding open the carriage door
lovely audience, and you're nothing like a lovely audience. No, I'm <laughs> so, yeah, we need a little, little man with a symbol there, coming off the terrible jokes that I made. So I'm going to do another song with this other guitar. So that was a train song. That was a train song that you just listened to. I'm going to give you another train song. Now, I don't know whether you've ever had the feeling that your life is kind of running out of control. It's like riding a bucking bronco or sitting on a driverless train. Well, here's a song called Driverless Train. And you're going to make this, this, this little guitar sound rather like a driverless train. On a driverless train, out of control and heaven, God knows where. On a driverless train, I get the hell if I only do. Chasing fortune and fame, I fell in love with a dream. Now this crazy train's picking up steam. I told so many stories, played so many games, can't even Never who to blame. No one waiting for me, no one traveling with me would explain. I'm driving a train, station master's calling all aboard. I'm driving a train, they bar the windows and they seal the door. Time and again, I see my destination flashing by. I'm driving this train. Well, there's no looking back and no reason why In a moment of shame I put my name to the deal Nothing but disaster was written in my palm Too late now to sound the alarm Going down with laughter Going down with a wide open arm On a drive this train I hear the engine churn day and night Like a drive this train Climbing higher up the speed of light The world is insane Way for fighting what you think you know So blow. I'll drive this train, journey ended long ago. I'll drive this train, drive this train, drive this train. I'm here to assure all the ladies in the room and the gentlemen that you're just as beautiful as ever. In fact, uh, if you're like me, I find that uh, you actually get better with age, wouldn't you agree? Like, like fine wine. Every day I look in the mirror and I say, wow, even better than yesterday. In my case, it's easy to do because it couldn't get much worse. So what I tried to do on this song was to contrast the way in which the seasons renew themselves with the way we as human beings get old, but we have love on our side and the trees don't. So this is called Lady Grey. Lady Grey, softly water in her flower bed. Where yesterday, beneath the snow, the earth was dull as lead. Stands amazed to see the colours of the summer blooms. 
another place with every shade of the weaver's loom. Lady Grey greets the morning sky of crystal blue. The yellow rays of the Colorado sun at noon. And in the play of the light that dances on the streams, she makes her way among the fields of emerald green. The summer's hues will change and fade, spring will renew its every blade. Not so my youth. Says Lady Grey, it will never come again. Then will the blue of my love's eyes grow colder than the winter skies? Would he choose to leave someday of all its colors drained? When my beard is dimmed with age Will he love me Oh, will his heart stray Will he still love me When his lady is grey Lady grey Combs her shining hair of lustrous brown So afraid to see the colour changing at the crown I hear her sigh and as her lover make my pledge to stay Here by her side Till every strand of hair has turned to grey And at the close of every winter's day To love still more my lady grey I love still more my lady grey songs about the immigrants and these are really dedicated to art because you asked me to play these songs today. So um, I recently became a member of this great nation. Uh, I didn't give up my British citizenship because uh, you know I really wanted to be a part of the enormous mess that is Great Britain. Is that? <laughs> but in the meantime before they gave me my finally awarded me my citizenship it took me about 18 months to finally concede that I was you know not too much of a bad lot. Um, in the meantime, I spent a lot of time thinking about immigrants, and uh, this is dedicated to the immigrants. A couple of songs I'd like to dedicate to the immigrants. This is called Fields of America. Fields of America. That once were America built by immigrant hands. These bricks and stones speak of the memory of every laboring man. Higher they climbed as they reached for their better life, their glitter in prize. These are the towers they raised in America until they touched the sky. 
in the fields of America, the ghost of an immigrant haunts every churchyard wall. And the streets of America ring to the echo of the days when it welcomed them all. This is the dream that once was America, paid for with blood and tears. These are the treasures we fought and died for, for so many years. These are the fields we gave to America, turned by our immigrant plows. These are the streets we paved in America, but where is America now? Where is America now? January the 21st of 2017, um, I don't know if you remember what you were doing that day, but I was watching an inauguration ceremony, and I was thinking about the immigrants, in particular about a group of immigrants who wanted to come to America, but never made it, through no fault really of their own. Uh, so this is called, uh, The Day the Great Ship Went Down. Crowd the deck side as the great ship puts to the sea, each face is trusting as a child. In fading black and white, they wave their hats and smile. In every language ever heard beneath the sun, they talk of all they hope to find. A life much freer and much richer than the one. They left behind the old dream of liberty and perfect equality had called them across the waves when far from their paradise the nightmare upon the eyes Found them only a watery grave. That's how the story goes. And it goes round and round. That's how the story goes. The day the great ship went down. When all the boys had come home safely from the war. We held a victory parade A chance to thank them for the sacrifice they'd made And though each soldier there was kissed by every girl The debt could never be repaid For they had guaranteed a kind of better world And for the true crusade And perfect equality We toasted them in champagne To the end of brutality And of all inhumanity We sang the old refrain how it was, and it goes round and round, that's how it was, the day the great ship went down, I've never met a man who says he's satisfied, but I meet many men in pain, they will tell you how we've lost or we once gained. Some are blinded by the hatred in their eyes 
some too full of rage to heal. Some are certain where our true salvation lies, and that the end is near. And what became of our liberty, our perfect equality, in the land of the brave and the free? Who grieves for the dream that died? We're too busy choosing sides and digging our own deep graves. And that's how it was, and it goes round and round. That's how it was. The day the great ship went down. That's how it was, and it goes round and round, that's how it was. The day the great ship went down. One more song for you this evening. It's been a great pleasure to play for you tonight. Please come back to this uh, songwriter series and support live music because we need you. Musicians would be nowhere and nothing without the audience. And you've been a lovely audience. It's been a pleasure to play for you tonight. So uh, this is a song which I hope will help to bring us together a little bit. I wrote this for some friends of mine who were going through a very hard time some years ago. So this is called Prayer. And why don't we think about all the people we know and love who might be in need of a prayer tonight. This is for them. So this is called Prayer goes out for everybody who doesn't have a prayer. Here's to you, here's to me, here's to all we've ever seen, to all the come and all that's been. Here's to all we Ever shared to our fathers and to our heirs, to all people everywhere when they haven't got a prayer. Here's to the young and here's to the old, and to the body and to the soul. To all whose stories are still untold. Here's to the lightless and here's to the weight, and to the gay and to the straight. To all who die too soon or are born too late. Here's to our enemies and here's to our friends. To the river that never ends, here's to the sinners and to the born again, here's to the black and here's to the white, to the left and to the right, here's to the evening and here's to the morning light, coming in To the poor, here's to the sea, and here's to the shore, here's to all people everywhere when they haven't got a prayer, 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 when they haven't got a prayer. Here's to the cop, and here's to the priest, and to the west, and to the east. Here's to all they bring to the feast. Here's to the lion, and here's to the lamb. Here's to the beast and the heart of 
man He's to the house on a rock and the house on sand Here's to the heart and to the head To the living and to the dead Here's to the joy and to the tears we shed Here's to the first and here's to the last To the future and to the past Here's to all who never wasted us Any time we are To the moon and to the sun to all we've lost and all we've won Here's to all people everywhere When you haven't got a prayer 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 My voice still could have got another show tomorrow night, and Art did ask me to play this song. I can't refuse Art any favours. So it's all for Art's sake this evening. For the sake of Art. Um, this is written by one of my favourite guitarists, uh, Leo Kotsky. So I wanted to give you one of Leo Kotsky's tune. Next time you see him, <laughs> will you tell him that someone's finally called him on the way he's been ripping off my style for about 20 years? <laughs> So this is written by Leo Kotke, this is called, excuse me, The Fisherman by Leo Kotke. Mm -hmm. 